Hey, Ken he fans. What we have in front of us here is the former home of Bob the Bear Height, the leader of Ken Heat. This is where they used to hang out in the 1960s, right in the middle of Topanga Canyon, California, on Tope right off Topanga Canyon Boulevard, off this ramshackle bridge here. They wrote their greatest songs in this house. It's amazing that it's still standing. And right behind us here on this hillside is where Alan Blind Al Wilson was found dead September 3rd, 1970. He uh, joined the infamous 27 Club when that happened because Brian Jones died the year before at 27. Jimi Hendrix died two weeks later. And then Janis Joplin, 27, four weeks later. And then J Jimmy uh, Jim Morrison, 27, 1971. I've seen some fo famous photographs of canned heat in this backyard on this like porch area right here. Anyway, getting back to Ellen Wilson, they said that he w it was an apparent suicide, but there was no drugs or alcohol in his, in his uh, blood and there was no suicide note. And uh, they said there was a contusion to his head on the autopsy and it looked like he had been carried out back in the sleeping bag. He had disappeared and they were waiting for him because they were going to go on a tour of Germany. And uh, to this day, they don't know what happened. And uh, he was awkward and shy with women. Even in the swinging 60s, he couldn't get it. It was hard for him to get girls, they said. And he was always depressed about that. And uh, but boy, man, he sure that great song going up the country, the unofficial anthem or theme of Woodstock and the Woodstock generation. And I probably got, he probably got inf influenced by all this country environment here. And uh, it's amazing this house is still standing and it hasn't been burned down or torn down. And the parties that used to go on here and uh, they said that the can he used to jam down in that basement there. And some kid, I read an article, he said when he was a kid, he came in this room here and Bob, Bob Hyde had his thousands of 78s in this room stacked up. And uh, you guys have seen that famous photo of them in, on the cover of Live at Topanga Corral? Well, this is where it was taken along this gully here when the rains, were, when the rains come in the fall and winter in California. All the rains gush down these, these gullies here and you see them along this river right here. And uh, you can see it pretty clear on that Live at Topanga Corral. And, even George Harrison used to hang out here in Topanga Canyon. And uh, all the famous people that used to come to this house, Frank Zappa, Mamas and Papas, Buffalo Springfield, Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, Arthur Lee, Love, Neil Young, all the great parties that used to take place here in the 1960s. All the LSD, all the grass, all the free free love as they called it the incense burning and then can you imagine the parties that were taking place in this room here this bedroom and things ready to fall in on itself anyway when you come in the afternoon the sun doesn't penetrate this canyon and it's really really creepy it's like you can feel the energy from ellen wilson's spirit probably a restless soul and then up to the present what's what what's up with that 27 Amy Winehouse Kurt Cobain and countless other rock and rollers that have died at 27 and then it was just I guess there was a spiral stairway that went around this it just it collapsed you can still see the rafters sticking out and here's that ramshackle stairway I came up. Things ready to collapse on itself. But luckily it's still here and we can record this for posterity where Ken Heat wrote all the great songs. Rolling and tumbling, let's work together. Going up the country. And uh, Alan Wilson, he was like a big uh, environmentalist and he wrote a lot of things about the destruction of the earth and the cutting down of a red 
redwood forest and he was really depressed about that they said too bad he didn't live a little longer okay can heat fans good thing we're getting this for posterity at least huh let's go out to the backyard if these walls could talk as they say if we could tune into the vibrations and somehow download it into a tv screen huh and just watch it and see what was really happening back then and when i was a kid i wish i was like i had i was always wishing that i was like older and i could wear my hair long and wear sideburns and i liked all the clothes and all the girls were beautiful with their long hair and it was just such a cool happy time well like they say don't dwell in the past huh but i can't help it it was just such a happy time okay candy fans hope you enjoyed this this little bit of history and uh i'm gonna go right now to soul kitchen where jim morrison got the uh, idea for soul kitchen the song it was once a restaurant owned by a black lady named olivia and he used to eat soul food there okay let's go